Sami C. Lamedus on guidance speech may trigger unrest in Kano group says. The Save Humanity Advocacy Center, SHAC, has raised an alarm over an alleged plot by the former Emir of Kano, Sami C. Kano, Sanusi Lamido, and his allies to cause unrest in Kano. It is later, in the, in the letter dated 13 February 2024, sent to President Turimbo titled The Order Need for Sanusi Lamido Sanusi and his credits to be called to order. The group order, the group executive director, Atat Mosa, alleged that there may be plans to revisit the deferment of MS Sanusi Lamido Sanusi by the present political leadership in the state. A move that will be counterproductive in our ramification given the peculiarities of the time. It reads, we extend our warmest regards to Mr. President in appreciation for the tangible effort in addressing the merits of challenges on the country. It is indeed a testament to your passion and commitment to setting Nigeria on the pedestal for greatness. Mr. President, we wish to use this medium to bring to your attention on the activities of the former Emir of Kano, His Royal Highness Sanusi Lamidu Sanusi, which is capable of igniting tension in Kano State. It is also a known fact that the former Emir and the political leadership in Kano State are aligned politically, which has resulted in recent remarks and insinuation that have the potential to disrupt the federal peace in Kano State. Mr. President, may wish to inform that the recent statement credited to the former Emirates allies are detrimental to the fragile peace in Kano. This is on the heels that the Kano state governor, a known ally of the former Emir, has made insinuation about the present composition of the Kano Emirate, which, if not addressed, can lead to a crisis of unimaginable proportion in the state. As a father of the nation, it is expedient that an urgent intervention should be made in Kano State to save the country from untold consequences that may arise in any eventuality. Mr. President may wish to be informed that there may be plans to revisit the reformment of Emir Sanusi Lamido Sanusi by the present political leadership in the state, a move that will counter that will be counterproductive in all ramifications given the peculiarities of the time. It is opinion that a peace in Kano state is now priceless. An attempt to print or it should be discouraged for the good of a state and the country at large. The people of Kano state have not expressed disaffection with the present composition of the emirate in Kano state and therefore it behooves the state government to maintain status quo and channel energies towards addressing socio-economic challenges in the state with the over over aching objective of providing the dividends of democracy to the teeming population in the state. Mr. President, we also wish to be informed that a Kano State House of Assembly must be cancelled on the application of dancing to the tune of the governor of a state and causing a change or a change or alteration of the present emirate system in the state. Peace must be given the chance in Kano State due to the sensitivity of the issue and need to unite the people rather than divide them. The present composition of the Emory system in the state is meant to serve the people and bring development closer to the people. It must not be seen as a political tussle between power brokers. It is also a considered opinion that former MS Sanusi Lamido Sanusi should be cautioned on his public utterances concerning the affairs of a state at the risk of building tension and resentment among the different interests in the state. Mr. President, the country cannot afford a disruption of the relative peace in Kano state due to the multiple effect it might have in the northern region of a country. Consequently, we wish to humbly make the following prayers. That Mr. President should mandate the governor of Kano State to maintain status quo. That Mr. President should cancel the Kano State House of Assembly to act on any plan to alter the laws of the Kano State Emirate Council. That Mr. President should caution former Emir Sanusi Lamido Samasi on his public statement on the composition of the Kano State Emirate Council. That Mr. President should convoke a meeting with the stakeholders and political leaders of the state to charge them on the need for the sustenance of peace in the state. Mr. President, we trust that you would use your good office to ensure 
that the fragile peace in Kano is sustained and improved upon. While we anticipate a favorable response and disposition, please, Mr. President, do accept the assurances of our highest regards, the letter read. Now, the thing is, I don't know why they're attacking Sanusi. It is not Sanusi that is saying he should be restated. Though. It is actually the former, uh, what's it called, the current governor. It's like they, they are friends, or should I say allies, with the, what's it called, with the former emir. Sanusi is not the one saying that. He's not the one coming out to say me then fix him in. He no comes I talk anything. What happened when the status quo was changed under Governor Ganduji? Have you an ask? Nothing. Therefore, if the status quo is changed again this time around, nothing will happen. Why you not write letter to Buhari when they remove him? That's a letter is of no use. Now, you people should get away. Why are you so full of tribalistic approach issues? This is Tunibu's time and Buhari's history. Why people cannot complain to Tunibu if they did, if they did not, if they did not do the same to Buhari? Don't mind a bunch of videos. What concern you with not any Islamic problems? My dear men are not put them out to make an address they look them for eye for eye. Fear of the unknown. He was there, you remove him unjustly, and now you're crying wolf because you sense you sense he will come back. Go and see then Joe. Pain na pain, no matter how it is. No matter how you use come into power. I've said it before. No matter how you come into power, eh? How your your way no use pure. It goes show. That is unguided utterances will one day land in okay. That is unguided utterances will one day land in, in prison. No doubt about it, whatever happened, it should be held accountable. This government must start showing seriousness in maintaining law and order. But the thing is, when this man was there, was removed, you understand? What in them do they not do anything about him? Then they're coming out to say if they fix him, but heaven is going to fall. We could show the here, Sha. Nothing wrong in revisiting a wrong and correcting it. What is wrong should be wrong at all time. No, okay, so stop suppressing the truth. What is wrong in the present situation? The war still remains. What goes around comes around. You have nailed it right away. 1,000 runs cannot and will never equal a single right, okay? My own is that when this man was removed that time, they did not see anything. They did not open their mouth to see anything. Now they don't come outside saying say this person won't come in. And the thing is he's not the one orchestrating it. They did not come out and say make them put him in. Now then come as I can talk, say they won't put him. So if they want direct the matter, make them go meet Kano State Governor. Uh, make them go meet him, make them. But the thing be say, make them no put him out to now nothing na family matter with this one. They go solve their problem by themselves. Alright, on this note we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for thank you for turning into the sin. Until I come your way next time.